Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, once again, I'm playing with Solar Burst Stencil by Simon Says. I absolutely love that stencil. It is just so much fun. And today I'm going to do the simple card. It's layered once again and it involves some embossing. I'm going to show you how simple it is to do. Well, I already attach the stencil to my work area and that's where it's going to stay and I have my um, cardstock base and what I'm going to do is I'll just slip it under and I'm going to do just a tiny bit of sponging you see those edges right here just a tiny bit most people want will not even notice it I will and I'm going to do the sponging in gold since all the uh, since the colors that we are using today are gold and silver so let's just do that. Just a tad, just a tad bit of um, of gold uh, sponging on the outside. There you go. Like I said, probably most most people will not even notice it, but I will. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, so that's it. That's going to be our base. See, that's all we need. You see the little shimmer? Very nice. Now, we're going to slip our cardstock, which is going to be the, the one that we're going to do in gold. And uh, we are going to, or I am going to, um, use a Versamark on it. I already applied the anti-static powder to it. So nothing else sticks to it but our gold powder. So let's just add the Versa mark. You can probably just take the whole um, ink pad and use it. Just start dabbing it. But I just don't like it. It makes the stencil so gooey. Uh, it, that's just not my thing and I never feel that it gets into all those little tiny nooks and crannies that it needs to get into in order to make it look so nice. And this is a pretty intricate stencil that we have here. Okay, I think we are good. I think I'm happy with it. So let's pull this out and apply gold embossing powder to it. and we're going to emboss it and that's going to be our f first layer doesn't it look just so nice when it goes on i just love it i love embossing love 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 it just adds such a character to the card just makes it look so beautiful and fancy and it's really not that difficult Okay, alrighty. So let's let's emboss this really quick. I'm going to buzz in your ear just for one minute. Just bear with me. that was quite a bit of embossing so I have my first layer ready and now I'm ready for my silver layer which is this one the center so I'm going to grab another piece of cardstock throw it here and once again the Versa mark goes on and 
we're going to apply a silver embossing powder to this one. Now before we go, before I leave actually, I'm going to move my paper because I want to emboss this little circle that I will pop out in gold. So, I just, I just push the paper over and this is going to be my, my little circle here. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my circle right here in gold. And the rest is going to be in silver. And you will be very pleased to hear that I already embossed it and I'm not going to be buzzing in your ear. <laughs> okay, so there you go. So now I have the center circle here, the little one and the big one. And once I embossed it, I took the a circle just regular circle from my um, circle cutouts and I found one that fit this size and I just cut it out and I also took a little punch and punched this out. So at this point I have all the pieces really to put this together. So let's let's put it let's put the card together really quick. I'm not going to be embossing that. Let me remove the stencil. Okay, so this is our bottom. Of course, we're going to pop this because I love different different layers. I think that they add uh, so much fun to the card. Okay, almost there. I got those little things, the little foamy things, 99 cents, store. they are so great. I love that they are already pre-cut and just go on so easy. I'm going to center it. So there's our first layer. And now we're going to go with the silver. Also we're going to pop it out. Yeah, I told you that it's really a very simple card, especially if you make a bunch of them and you just do like an assembly line and you, you use Versamark and um, you just want to line it up here. So it's nicely lined up and it's a part of the whole picture. Uh, use the Versamark and then the embossing powder and you can just emboss a bunch of them at the same time. And this one is probably just a little bit too big, so let's cut it out. Cut it a little bit off. There you go. Perfect. Now the greeting on my original card is from my monthly hero for May. Very, very nice set. And um, the one that I just created here just for a variety. I um, used my monthly hero for March and it also came with all those fun uh, die cuts. So this is what's going to go on here and this is your card. I told you it was very simple and I just love that we can do all this fun stuff with stencils. I mean years back stencils were just to tracing things and now it's just, there's just so many new ways of using stencils and I absolutely 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 love it. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you're gonna give it a try and watch out I'll be coming up with more videos with the solar burst stencil. Talk to you guys soon. Ta-ta!